Uh, welcome to session four in our Microsoft Excel series. I just want to give you a, um, a quick heads up that this will be the uh, session where we start talking about formulas. Uh, the way I do the formulas may not um, line up exactly with the way other instructors may have told you um, to do them, but uh, this is kind of the way I've been using, and uh, it's very possible that there's going to be some conflict here. But um, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you what my rationale is um, for how I do them. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to use each of the operations, which is pretty pretty simple. Um, but before we go to, to that point, what I want to do really quick is to just um, let you know that when you enter a uh, the equal sign right away, it, the, the cell is assuming you will be entering a formula. So JAWS will, will start talking and it'll tell you to enter the formula unless you have your tutor messages turned off or your JAWS settings adjusted differently, and mine will do that. Um, so I'm going to show you real quick here. Um, so I'm going to hit an equal sign. Type in the formula and press enter. Yeah, and then you don't have to, you know, you don't have to wait for JAWS to finish. You can just keep on typing. So that's just what I wanted to let you know, that, that it's going to do that. So um, let's show you how to do an uh, addition problem. I'm just going to do a two, two. Plus, plus two. two. And because I've already done the equal sign first, I don't have to put anything else. So I'm going to hit enter. Enter blank, A2, four, four, okay. I'm going to go up. Four, that's formula, A1. Now, it, you'll notice that when I go up, it says four. And then JAWS also says it has a formula which is really important to know because it, it indicates that I didn't just write four in the cell. I entered a formula to come up with that particular number. Um, I'm going to use this time to tell you that you, when you um, need to know what a formula in a cell says or is, do not simply press the F2 key to read the formula. You can do that. But if you make an error or make um, accidentally insert any sort of text or number, it'll throw your formula off, and it's just not worth the mess. So if you just want to see what it says, um, you're going to do a control, JAWS key, in my case, insert, and F2. And depending on how your keyboard's laid out, this might be a little bit of a trick. So Equals 2 plus 2. Yeah. And that's going to tell you the, the formula that the, that the cell has. Um, so I'm going to go to the next cell, Entry, and I'm going to show you how to add a, a, a subtraction problem. Um, so here we go, equals, and I'm just going to do 4 minus 2. Type in the formula and press it, 4. four and then your minus, of course, is on your, uh, on your uh, there's a couple of places. If your number locks on, it's, it'll be on your number pad. If it's not then it's on your number row to right next to your equals. And, and again, you and I, I didn't happen to mention this before, but it really, as long as you're consistent, it doesn't matter which one you use. So I'm just going to continue my yeah. next two, two equals. Enter blank, A3, two, that's and formula, A2. You'll see it, it worked out. Blank, A3. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing for this, uh, this cell, except I'm going to show you multiplication. So equals. Type in the formula okay. and press enter. Um, two. two. And then what I'm going to do is multiply. So I'm going to do the shift and the eight, or your number key. It doesn't really matter. Star. Two. two. Edge and blank. A4. Okay. So that is the multiplication um, sign. The, the final sign I'm going to show you is division, of, of, of course. So I'm going to do four. Type in the four. Four divided by, and if you, if again, if you got your number locked on, you can use your number key. If not, um, you're going to use the slash that is to the right of the period. Slash two enter blank a five. Okay, so out there I've shown you how to do all of the operations, and these are just for simple, simple, simple problems. Um, there, it's nice to be able to do this. Uh, in lieu of a calendar, or calendar, the Windows calculator, it's kind of nice to be able to do that because then if you can see which formulas, you can go back and forth up to see um, what you've done to 
to equal the, the previous, you know, what, what math problems you've done to get the answers that you've gotten. Um, it's it's kind of, you know, some people like to do it. I, I you know, it, it's another option. It's another tool for your bag. Um, the next thing I'm going to go into really quick is uh, how to do formulas that involve cells. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to do a run through on manual entry quickly, but then I'm also going to show you the formulas tab. I've actually come to think of it. I'll show you the formulas tab in the next video. I will do the manual entry for some, at least, on, on this on this video. So anyway, um, some. When I say some, I mean S-U-M, some, not S-O-M-E. So just so you know, I'm, I'm sure you figured that out, but you know, hey, it doesn't hurt. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, is if I want to add two cells together, um, this is where you start adding parentheses, okay? With a formula that includes words and cell numbers, you, you got to add um, parentheses, okay? This is kind of the breaking point here. You didn't have to in the previous ones because there weren't any, any letters involved. No way to get mixed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a sum of two cells. So if I wanted to do in this cell, I wanted to do the sum of cell A and the sum of cell B. Um, add those together. Or I'm sorry, A1 and A2. I wasn't thinking right. So I'm going to do the sum uh, formula. Type in the form. Yeah, S-U-M. And then I'm going to do an open parenthesis. Left parent. Uh, let's see. A1. A Plus A2. A2. And then I want to do the closing parentheses. Right parent. Okay. And then I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Blank. A6. Okay. I'm going to go back up to that A5 and see what it says. 6. That's formula. A5. Right. And I know that in A4, A1 I had 4 and in A2 I had 2. So this is correct. Again, I'm going to use my, my JAWS... Uh, my draws command to read the formula, not edit it. So again, control insert two or F two, sorry. Equals some left parent A one plus A to right parent. Okay. Yep. So it includes that information. So now I want to go down. Suppose I want to um, do the sum of a series of cells. I'm going to do a plus, or actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to do an equals. Plus. Oops. Plus equals. Sum. M sum. And then open parentheses. Now suppose I want to do A1 through A4. A, A one, one. And then do a colon. That indicates a series. Colon. A, A box. Four. four. Close parentheses. Right parent. Enter. Blank. Okay. A7. 12. That's formula. A6. Okay. It's given me that formula. Now you might say, so what's the what's the advantage of this anyway? Um, why does it matter? Well, what's nice is the formula will change. The, the formula will not change. The numbers in the cells might. So here, like in um, this cell here that I'm in, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go actually to A1 really fast. 4, 2, 4, 2, 6, 12. Oh, whoops. First cell, 4, has formula, A1. <laughs> Helps if you press the right keystroke. Okay, so my first cell... And I'm going to, suppose I want to edit the formula, so I'm going to do an F2. F2, edit. So, maybe I don't want it to be 2 plus 2 anymore, maybe I want it to be 2 plus 5. 2. 2. Blank. 2. 5. Enter. 2. 7. That's formula. Now A1. you'll notice that that total changed, but the other cells that will change were formulas that indicated that they were looking at A1 and... Uh, and and uh, set up their numbers accordingly. So I'm actually going to go down. Nine. That's formula. A five. So nine. This is a five. Where before it was not nine. And you'll recall the last cell was twelve. It is not twelve anymore. Fifteen. That's formula. It's fifteen A6. because the number in a one has changed. This is all rather confusing, and I would encourage you to go over this video more than one time, make do some experimenting, change things around. Uh, I know it seems really intimidating right now, and honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, it can be. 
But once you understand the way formulas are done, uh, you don't have to create these worksheets from scratch. There are templates that are available from Microsoft, and there are documents that your uh, employers or instructors will send you that all they require is for you to enter data in, um, in a uh, Excel document and modify the, uh, the actual data, not create the document. So um, a lot of people are very intimidated by Excel, but it's, it's not as bad as it seems. So um, just practice a little bit. And then by the next time, I'm going to show you a little bit about formulas in the menu bar. So uh, I hope this was somewhat helpful. Enjoy. Uh, catch you on the flip side.